Okay, so we've got the uh, vein in here. So when I restart this thing, it'll zero. So I've got the power supply over here. I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in so that the controller will re-zero. Um, so when the car starts up or this thing gets power for the first time, the screen's off, plug it in, it zeroes out, and then goes back to the neutral position. So this is kind of the safest position for it. It's the least resistant to flow at that point. Um, I've also got a function generator set up over here uh, replicating the input for a shaft feed sensor. Uh, I'm going to adjust on this and you'll be able to see down here the, um, the RPM reported is going to change and then the vein position will also change. So, okay, that's probably going to spin it up as fast as possible. So if you take a look at the RPM down here, this camera will even focus on that. That's 13K. That's pretty slow. Alright, so let's speed this turbo up a little bit. And what happens when the turbo starts to spin up? This guy opens up. All the way until it gets to the most neutral point there. And when it's there, I have it set to 50K RPM. Uh, these are just set points that I put into this. They could be anything. But uh, as you see, it has a control loop in it that actually makes the vein control based on the shaft speed. Um, it's also based on the other parameters, the sensors that are going into the control unit. I've not got anything of those hooked up at the moment, so it's just looking at shaft speed.